To understand Paku, we have to look at its true home, the wild Amazon basin. There, Paku is not a villain at all. It eats fallen fruits and carries seeds across long distances, becoming one of nature's quiet forest builders. A fish helping trees grow. It sounds unbelievable, but it's a real Amazon superpower. But when that same fish enters a completely different world, like India, its behavior changes. Here, Paku doesn't help forests. It competes with native fish for food and space. What makes it useful in the Amazon becomes disruptive in our lakes. One of the most fascinating things about Paku is its jaw. In the Amazon, it cracks open hard palm nuts that even monkeys struggle to open. That jaw strength, combined with its strange human-like teeth, allows it to chew through tough materials. This is why fishermen often find soft silk nets torn apart after a paku gets caught. Not because it attacks the net, but because its bite is naturally powerful. And although paku is not aggressive to humans, a startled one can still give a painful bite. Scientists worldwide are interested in paku because of its incredible ability to adapt. It survives muddy water, polluted lakes, and canals where most sensitive fish cannot. During droughts, floods, or pollution, Paku often survives while native species decline. And once a population of Paku becomes stable, removing it from open waters becomes extremely difficult. Yet Paku is not just a threat, it's also a scientific wonder. Its digestive system can switch diets depending on what's available. Its immune system is strong, giving it resistance to many freshwater diseases. Researchers even study Paku teeth to understand how diet changes jaw evolution in animals. For fish farmers, Paku is both an opportunity and a warning. In controlled ponds, it grows fast and sells well. But if it escapes into rivers, it begins competing with native fish and slowly alters the natural balance. This is why experts insist on secure ponds, fencing, and responsible handling. Awareness becomes the real weapon, because once an invasive species spreads, the damage can last generations. People often confuse paku with piranhas. But while piranhas have razor blades for teeth, paku is more like a calm vegetarian tank with a nutcracker jaw. The real danger isn't that Paku attacks humans. The real danger is how quietly it spreads, how easily it adapts, and how strongly it influences the ecosystem around it. A fish that traveled continents, a survivor built by evolution. A reminder that even one species, moved by humans, can rewrite nature. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to Cyverse. Your support helps resource-limited creators like me continue researching and sharing science with everyone.